my little trusty knife means there's an unboxing. And this is something interesting. This is something that I thought about and I went one direction. Now I'm going the other direction. So let's go ahead and unbox this. I wanted a lens. There, right now I'm shooting on the 15 to 45 lens. And when I shoot some time lapses, when I shoot my time lapses now, I'm using this. This lens, which is 55 to 200. So this one goes out to 200. It starts at 55. So this is the EFM 18 to 150 millimeter. So it's in between the 15 to 45 and the 55 to, it's not in the, it's, it's the middle ground between those two extremes. There's also one more lens, which is a wider lens. That's 11 to 22, but that's, that's irrelevant. This is the, let's look at that. There we go. So this lens, I'd, I'd like to use just all the way around. So I can use a, a long zoom to get into something and pull out and be able to vlog like this too. So this is the middle ground. I'm going to try this one out. I want to do, I'm going to do a couple of time lapses in this maybe, at least one, and uh, do a couple of different things with it. I want to kick this around because I hope this will be my go-to lens. This 200 will be, hey, I want to capture some wildlife far away and not get too close and get a nice picture of it. I've done it before already. Possum, oh, a bird, hummingbird, elk. This, this guy works really well. I can get close without having to get close, you know. This will be the middle ground and this will be the lens that I'll have on the majority of the time. It has, uh, it's image, it has image stabilization built in. It's an f5.3 to, to f6.3. So when you're zooming in, just think of it like that. When you zoom in, the more you zoom in, the darker it gets when you're looking through it. That's kind of what it means. It's probably wrong. So leave a description on how it's how I'm wrong and blah 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 and I'll ignore it. Manual, this is uh, warranty information. And we have we have the lens. I like the fact this guy is a little bit longer because it has to be, because you gotta get all the way up to 200. This is slightly smaller, which is nice. Oop, that's the lens back. it I think we start out at 18 let's do this start out at 18 take it all the way up to 150 I got the black lens it also comes in a silver so this expands out to here and pulls back to here so I'll be able to get a pretty decent shot a, a close shot I'll, I can hold it at arm's length my arms are long enough that I can hold it out with like a Joby or something like that or this guy and keep it at a distance and be able to use it to talk into and then turn around and point it at something and zoom in hopefully that's that's my goal with this like I said this is good I want this to be my my go-to lens now the difference also is the width of this for instance this is 52 millimeters across because I have a actually I'm gonna get a filter for this too but that's another video this is the uh, UV filter for uh, 52, this is 55, it's slightly wider. Just like any other lens. Match the white dots, turn until you click, and it's tight in there, now you can hold it like that. If you see next to the 200, it's approximately the same size. There's not, this one is, uh, let's call that Let's call that about a sixteenth or an eighth of an inch longer because of this. That's it. But actually that seats in there. That sits in there, I should say. Which, eh, let's go ahead and call them even. They're about the same size. I could look at the specs and actually tell you whether or not, but that would require me to, to, um, to look it up. And, eh. when I, why do that when I can eyeball it on YouTube and guess and then have some random person with no... Uh, with no with no avatar say oh well actually ooh, that's annoying now what we're gonna what I'm gonna do now 
is start filming with this thing, this guy right here. I like the fact that, look at that, that's great. I can get every, uh, it's not, it's not incredibly wide, but it's wide enough to get my, my uh, the ugly mug in here. So that, that works out pretty well. So this is the all around lens. What I wanna do, I have uh, a UV filter or polarizer filter because this is going to be uh, for fishing also so I can see into the water a little bit better which will help with uh, a few different things. This lens looks great. It, it handles great. This is my... Hopefully, like I said at the beginning, I want this to be my go-to lens. This is going to be the lens that's going to be always on the camera because I want to use it for anything from fishing to vlogging to wildlife you name it I want to do it with this lens so this is the Canon EF EFM 18 to 150 this is the for the mirrorless the EFM is for the mirrorless mounts of cameras uh, works great See the nice thing about this lens, I am about two feet away and I can get my head in frame and if I stand back to about arm's length, about three feet, you have everything so I can nice and clear. The wider lens makes it easier, makes it nicer for um, for light. <laughs> light. More light can come into the sensor, more light means better quality picture. So what I'm going to do now is to get out the window and let's take a, a, a nice time lapse. I'm probably going to do it, uh, I usually do on my larger lens, uh, 70. So I'm probably going to put around 55, 70 and let's go ahead and do a time lapse with that. Okay, I want to demonstrate the, um, the lens, how the lens works as far as uh, zooming in. So this is all the way at the end, this is 18. It takes me up to 24, 35. This is 50. So around here, oh actually, we, yeah, around here we lose focus. Hold on a second. There we go. So normally on my other lens, I do around 70 for a time lapse, but in this case, I can probably do around 50 and be able to get everything in frame. So let's, let's move back a little bit more and get everything out of focus. I noticed that there's this little dot here on the glass and I thought it was a, a dot on my sensor and I almost freaked out and I remember there's these windows are filthy. Anyway, so this is up to 70. 70 is actually a bit different than 70 on my other in as much as the camera does not want to focus. Come on, you see that dot? Uh, you can't, you can't really see it. The dot is like a, like a fleck of pepper almost. It's a tiny thing but you see how it shows up on the screen for a second. So this is 100. Let me do this. Let me take off autofocus. There we go. So it stays. I had to turn off autofocus to make it work. There's let me get more light to the sensor. It's a bit better. It's getting out of focus. It's still dark. It is six. 6.53 in the morning, so let's zoom into 150 and see what we can get. Let's see if we can get the top of this building. Just barely. So, it, it, conditions aren't optimal right now, but that's a general idea what this uh, zoom can do. I'm going to put a time lapse on. I'm going to put it around 50 and see what happens. Nice thing about this lens, I can hold it at arm's length and be able to do this and I can zoom all the way in. We've already covered that. So that was a time lapse. I was very impressed by how clear it looks. 
that wider lens lets in more light it looks more it looks better sharpen it up in um, Premiere it looks really great so I want to do a little bit more with this but first I have a uh, some an addition to this. I got the lens. I definitely am going to be using this fishing So I want to have a Polarizing filter so you can see better in the water so if the fish is swimming by I can get a, a video of them the Last time I was fishing there were sharks in the top. It'd been nice if I could be able to With this I can see them and zoom in so let's unbox the filter and get it on there One is a 49 so that's for the 15 to um, 45 lens. I wanted to get one for this because I like the way they look. So I'm going to put that in there for now. And this guy right here. This is the Hoya Alpha Filter. It's 55 because this is a 55. It's the widest, the widest lens I have out of the group. I just love the way how how clear it looks and how nice it looks. I was, I'm very happy with this lens. It's one of those things where if I knew what I know now, I'd have just gone with this and been happy with everything instead of going around and trying different stuff. Not that that's a bad thing, but anyway, much like the other lens, I drop it on the ground. It's 55, like I said before. Let's see if I can actually get it to zoom in on the number. Where's the number? Oh, there it is. So there you go. 55, it's a Hoya Alpha 55 millimeter in the Philippines and you just turn it to get the uh, what you want and I'm doing this on the 18 to 55 I have the the lens about eight inches from this lens and it looks great man I'm happy with this lens this is the lens it bridges the gap between zoom and um, just regular vlogging purposes and then I said that and it goes out of zoom it goes out of focus I think it's because it's so small. There we go. So let me go ahead and put this on. The great thing about this is that I have it. I I have it at arm's length, and I'm actually using it to vlog. And I don't have to change out lenses. I can just point it at my face and get going. I like the width. It gets more light, so the time lapses are a lot better, a lot more clear. Uh, the video looks a little bit better with this uh, Looks a little bit more crisp and I have the range of, of uh, Focal focal length which is really nice because I Don't have to change out lenses if I want to do if I want to zoom in just a little bit, but uh, it, It's nice to have the wide like this and then I'm able to go all the way in and zoom into something cool so this lens is what I wanted it to be and I'm pretty happy with it. So this is the Canon 18 to 155. This is the M mount lens for the EFM the EOS M6, which is this camera that I'm using. So uh, this is going to be my go-to lens. Uh, there's a fishing video on Monday. I shot the majority of it on this lens with the, that UV filter that I showed you a minute ago. Works really well. I'm really happy with it. I don't have to change out lenses. I can just keep one lens on and go. That's what I wanted, and it worked out great. So thanks for watching, and that's uh, it. videos from this point forward for the most part will be shot on this lens, so you can really take a look.